The first of four roundabouts is nearing completion in Bemidji. Our Josh Peterson shows us why this type of intersection is becoming more common. They are different from what we normally encounter when we drive anywhere across the state of Minnesota. However, in a recent study released by the Minnesota Department of Transportation, the state's nearly 200 roundabouts are reducing serious injuries and saving lives, which is one of the reasons why Beltrami County is adding four roundabouts along a short stretch of Division Street in Bemidji. Future traffic that's coming with the new Gene Dillon Elementary School. Uh, we do have issues with some of the intersections at times right now, and then with the additional traffic it kind of puts us over the top and so we needed to do something. With Bemidji's first real roundabout nearing completion, the county has been taking many questions as to where the next roundabouts will be built and why they are needed. Really it's for the cross traffic, trying to get out on the division, uh, dealing with that, and then roundabouts uh, are the answer because they're more efficient and safer than a traffic signal. In 2012, Brainerd constructed three roundabouts, and since then the area has seen an uptick in traffic. Officials say it's a learning curve that takes some getting used to. Uh, the traffic moves through here very efficiently and quickly, and I think people really, um, as soon as they got the, the feel of it, they, they really like taking this over, say, Highway 210 or something to get over between back and forth, but Baxter and Brainerd. MnDOT says that there was a 42% reduction in injury crash rates through the use of roundabouts. As they become more common across the state, officials expect more people to prefer the use of roundabouts. More and more of these get put in around the state. I think there's going to be just a, a better understanding of how roundabouts improve intersection. With only finishing touches remaining on Bemidji's first roundabout, construction on three more roundabouts are scheduled to be built late next spring. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. All that remains to be completed on Bemidji's first roundabout is the installation of lights and pavement stripping, weather permitting. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.